Hello there and welcome to this quick tutorial about what you can do with imported Dolby Atmos ADM BWF files in the Dolby Atmos Composer Essential. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can stay up to date with the latest news tips and tricks. For processing imported ADM BWF files, you just need to instantiate the Dolby Atmos Composer Essential anywhere in your DAW or just use the instance of an existing session. Please make sure that your DAW processes audio through the Composer, because otherwise you won't be able to play back and hear the imported file. In case the DAW is not processing audio, a message appears at the bottom of the Composer. Now let's import our file. As you can see at the bottom, we now have the controls for playing back our file. So let's do it. In the Dolby Atmos Composer Essential, you can make two kinds of adjustments to your imported file. First, you can change the binaural mode for each channel here, optimizing the headphone experience of that Atmos mix. And you can of course change the overall volume of the mix by using the master gain knob. That way you can make sure to match the loudness specifications of the distributors. For example, if your loudness measurement tool shows minus 17 LKFS, but the rule says minus 18 LKFS, you just need to turn master gain down by 1 dB and re-export. Now let's have a look at exporting the adjusted ADM BWF file. You can export it as a new ADM BWF file and or as a re-render. The re-render will be in the same format as your selected monitoring format. So if you want a re-render format that differs from it, you first need to change your monitoring format accordingly. Let's do that and choose 916. Now let's activate the wave button to tell the Dolby Atmos Composer Essential that we also want to export the re-render and hit the export button. Let's choose a location and a file name and click save. As you can see the export happens at maximum speed. When we look at the exported files we can see the ADM BWF file with the extension wave and the multi-channel re-render with the selected format added to the given name. Let us know what you think about this tutorial in the comments below. Also please let us know if you have any specific question or suggestion about mixing in Atmos which you would like to see a good explanation video about. And that's it for this video. We hope it's been helpful. Please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of any updates. Thanks for watching and happy mixing.